Hello everyone, welcome to the Mortgage Brothers Show. It is April 19th, it's a Tuesday. This is the interest rate update show. And if you're trying to speed through this content, kind of do a shortcut, be sure to look in the descriptions below. You'll see these little timestamps that you can click on to basically go right through the content as you wish. And if you are not subscribed and you're trying to get a mortgage to purchase a house or refinance, this is a great channel to subscribe to. Also, if you're a realtor, you're a home seller, and you're just looking to get information of where the market's at, this is a great channel to follow as well. And today we're going to be looking at where interest rates are for today, but also how the interest rates today are affecting mortgage payments today compared to last year and how I see them compared to next year. So we're gonna do a little forecast of what does it look like compared to next year. And a quick disclaimer before we get going, we are not financial advisors. This is not financial advice. This is for informational purposes only. Also, we are only licensed in the state of Arizona, which means we can only help specifically borrowers looking to get a mortgage for a home purchase or refinance here in Arizona. But don't worry, if you're from any other state, all the loan programs we discuss are nationally originated, so this channel is still very relevant to you to follow. All right, so let's get right into it. Interest rates today, Tuesday, right? Tuesday, April 19th, we see the 30-year fix at 4.99%, the 15-year fix at 4.125, five-year arm 3.875, 30-year fix FHA is 4.49, and the VA loan 4.49. So these are a little bit higher than, than yesterday. We see that continued trend going up. Okay, so today, now this chart is just, these are our assumptions. If you're watching this, you're really analytical, you can kind of pause this, you can look at these numbers here. What these assumptions are saying is that over the last 12 months, homes have appreciated 19%, that's one assumption. And then the, another assumption is, what will homes appreciate between now and next year? For the next 12 months, we anticipate 7%, okay? So that's kind of baked into these formulas. Um, the assumption, where were rates last year? 3%. Okay, we're just rounding it off to three. Uh, last month, we're gonna be, because we're gonna be comparing the, the last month as well. We, we saw them at about, about 4.1%. This is the 30 year fix we're talking about. Today, we see that 4.99. And we're just saying, and I'm gonna estimate next year, let's just say rates are the same, 4.99 as today. And here's the, uh, the rest of the payment factors, 20% down, Okay, this is, I'm also gonna be showing you what your salary, what your, what your income has to be, not necessarily salary, but your total annual income has to be uh, to qualify for these mortgages. And I'm also plugging in, what if a borrower has $1,500 of non-mortgage debt? Okay, so these will all come into play here soon. So let's look at this first table. Last year, again, this is for, uh, this is actually uh, for Maricopa County. Uh, this is what the median home price in April 2021 was about $395,000. So that home today is worth $470,000. Okay, that, and last month, that same house was $463,000. So we've seen that appreciation from one year ago, one month ago, and then today. Now, with the next, anticipating a 7% inflation or 7% appreciation, no matter what word you wanna use, the home will either appreciate or inflate, if we say 7% a year, next year, the houses will be worth, this house will be worth 502, all right? Now, if we just look at the consistent down payments, 20% across the board, you can see the 3% interest rate last year for this, this same home, this median home price here in Maricopa County, with taxes and insurance and a homeowner's insurance, a homeowner's association payment total, that house would be, the payment would be 1680. If we look at last year, last month scenario with that 4.1% interest rate, uh, that, that sale price is 463,000, we would see that, that payment at 2140, so, and then, Okay, and then looking at today, we see that, that payment, 2364. That's with the $470,000 sales price, the 4.99 interest rate, 
you just see how it's over $600 that that payment has increased from one year ago to today. So that's a combination of appreciating, a big appreciation year, and also the interest rate increasing. Now next year, that same house, if it's worth 502, and that's the sales price, 502 next year, and if the interest rates are the same, the mortgage payment would be about 2505, all right? Now, next line, what you'll see is the annual income. I'm calculating this, these are rough numbers, because I'm, you know, this is gonna apply to people with $1,500 of non-mortgage debt. So student loans, car payments, uh, credit card payments. If you just added them all up and that borrower had, that, that, that hypothetical borrower had $1,500 of that non-mortgage debt, they would need to make $84,000 or about $85,000 last year to purchase the median home price home. Today, they would need to make about $103,000. That's pretty big. I mean, that's, that's a big, that's a big, big increase. And then now next year, they may have to make about $107,000 to qualify for that same home. And let's go to this next slide here. I think this is a, just another way of seeing this number. Here's the sales price of 395, what the homeowner would have to make last year to purchase that home. And then last month they would have to make 97,000, right? And then today they'd have to make 103. Just in one month, they'd have to make seven, uh, $6,000 more. It's staggering. Um, we, did, we just have seen prices go up so much and then next year, about 106. And then this is the total monthly payment breakdown where we see the total principal and interest over last year, last month, today, and estimated next year. All right, so that concludes today's interest rate update. I just wanna let everybody know too that Inflation is estimated to be 7%. And that is why we are showing this. We sh that, that's this example right here. 7% appreciation or 7% inflation. These homes are likely going to be more expensive this year. In 2022, if anyone's thinking, okay, this is really depressing news, and I get it. It, it couldn't, you know, if we look at this grid, it can be depressing. But don't worry. I, I think that it's, I don't want to you know, be selling, um, you know, doing a hard sell here that you have to be buying, but that it's important to know that if you are capable of buying, you've been kind of holding off and you're looking for a home for your family, this is, I would say holding off, you know, may not be the, the best decision because inflation is going to eat away, eat away at that opportunity because, uh, again, I just don't see it happening with our inventory issues across the country but also the inflation, buying the hard asset, a home, is probably a very good idea. Um, again, that's what I'm recommending my clients to do. But again, this is, this is for informational purposes only. I'm not, you know, you're not a client of mine. Um, you haven't hired us to do this, but I'm just giving this information and I hope that helps. Hope everyone have, has a great day and we'll be back tomorrow with another update. Take care. Hey guys, thanks for listening to the Mortgage Brothers Podcast. Please let us know if you have any questions you'd like us to answer. You can email your questions to team at azmortgagebrothers.com and be sure to ask us for a free quote on your next mortgage. We'll be sure to give you personalized service and help you through the whole process. Signature Home Loans LLC does not provide tax, legal, or accounting advice. This material has been prepared for informational purposes only. You should consult your own tax, legal, and accounting advisors before engaging in any transaction. Signature Home Loans, NMLS 107154, NMLS number 210917 and 161-8695, equal housing lender.